Good morning. Today is January the 9th, and this is Pastor Rick's Reflections. Today we're going to look at the Lutheran Handbook, and um, as I'm about to teach a catechism class on the Lord's Prayer today, I thought I'd share with you a little bit um, from this on prayer. Um, this is a selection entitled, How to Pray. Prayer is an intimate, is intimate communication with God and can be used before a meal, at bedtime, during a worship service, or any time the need or opportunity arises. Silent and, and spoken prayers are both okay and may be used liberally throughout the day. Prayer is also taking time to listen to what God is saying to us. Spontaneous prayer is often best, but the following process may help build the habit. And here's some steps. One, assess your need for prayer. Let's take stock of the situation at hand, including your motivations. What are you praying for and why? Select a type of prayer. Prayers of supplication, which are requests request for God's help. Contrition, uh, in which sin is confessed and forgiveness requested. Intercession, that would be on behalf of others. And others are good and time-tested. Books of personal prayers, hymnals, and devotions often contain helpful pre-written prayers. Consider also an ad-libbed prayer from the heart. Select a physical prayer posture. Many are appropriate. The most common type of prayer in the New Testament is from a prone position, lying face down on the ground, arms spread. Kneeling is with your faith, face and palms upturned is good for prayers of supplication. Bowed head with closed eyes and hands folded is common today and often adds concentration. Of course, there is no official posture for prayer. Choose your posture according to your individual prayer needs. And then, of course, offer your prayer. Pray with confidence. God listens to all prayers and responds. Breathe deeply. Relax and be open as the Spirit leads you. And then listen. Take time during your prayer simply to listen. Some prayer traditions involve only silent meditation as a means of listening for God's voice. But be aware. God hears every prayer. Prayers can be done either alone or in the company of others, which we say would be corporate prayer. And environment can matter too. If possible, you might want to consider lighting candles or dimming the lights to set the correct mood and help block out distractions. So a few tips on how to pray. I know all of you know how, but sometimes it's nice for a little refresher on things. Let us pray. Good and gracious God, we thank you for another day, another beautiful chance to be loved by you and to love and serve others in your name. Thank you for the gift of prayer, a way to communicate with you, not just for us to ramble on, but for also, uh, for also for us to take time to listen, to listen for what you're trying to say to us, what you're calling us to do, how you're trying to help us. Help us to keep those lines of communication open and pray constantly. Help us to be answers to the prayers of others as there uh, are so many in need. Um, help us be peacemakers. Help us be those, the ones who feed the hungry, who clothe the naked, who find shelter for the homeless, and who share love with all who need it. Keep us always in your care and remind us of your love in Christ's name we pray. Amen.